We're following a developing story on Long Island, chaos at Roosevelt Field Mall. It was bedlam. There was such a huge crowd that showed up to see teenage singing sensation Justin Bieber. The police had to be called in. His appearance has been canceled. We've got Long Island reporter Josh Einiger there with the very latest. Josh? Well, hey there, Diana. You know, we just got here in the last uh, half hour or so, and it really was utter pandemonium back, back there in the Roosevelt Field Mall. Let's show that you a video yeah. shot on a cell phone uh, by one of our Eyewitness News viewers inside the mall in the last couple of hours, and it really was, as you put it, Bedlam. All of this started, these groups, possibly thousands of preteen girls and their parents have been there some since as early as 7 o'clock this morning for a book signing with Justin Bieber, who is, as you said, a teen singing sensation, very popular with this particular demographic. They've been there all day, but there was such a crowd control problem that at some point the event was canceled. There were not enough security people on staff, according to the people in there, and it led to just utter chaos. Uh, here's what some of them had to say just uh, in the last half hour here. There were people getting trampled. We saw people getting pushed. We saw dads, parents. Parents getting separated from their children. Yeah, there were 10-year-old kids Mom, standing outside by themselves. Two moms fought and one mom broke her arm. And they had to bring her to the hospital. Somebody fell on her. She got hurt. And I got pushed up against the wall like this. All the girls. <laughs> and her, whatever her like. And all this for what? Justin Bieber. And Newscopter 7 was over the scene just after all of this. You could see the police response. And when I was back there, there were officers on horseback there to manage crowds that did dissipate after a while. But people, of course, very upset. No word how many people were injured in all of this. Uh, Bieber himself posted on his Twitter page that at least one person was arrested and officers were possibly arresting other people. Now, why did this happen? How was this allowed to happen? We tried to get Roosevelt Field Management, Simon Malls, to answer that question, but instead of answering it, they just kicked us right off the property. We're here across the street. We will continue trying to get answers for you and have the latest as we get it. For now, we're live in Garden City, Long Island. Josh Oniger, Channel 7 Eyewitness News.